Hello everyone. I hope you are doing great. In this video, we are going to discuss on your next steps once you are done with your MCD certification. Many times you must have heard MCPA and MCI and you might be confused so as to what to do next. So let's discuss about what are the things that you need to consider before choosing the right path. So before we go ahead, in case you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do it quickly and also check my previous videos. Let's quickly go through the certification journey. So first level of certification is MuleSoft Certified Developer and this video assumes that you have already done it and the next steps are you can go for MuleSoft Certified Platform Architect or MuleSoft Certified Integration Architect. Now from exam point of view, there is no as such prerequisite that you should have been uh, MuleSoft certified developer before appearing on any of the two exam. But MuleSoft recommends that you should be MuleSoft certified developer for both of these exams. At least for MCI, it is definitely a must I would say. So let's talk about both the certification paths in detail. So when we talk about MCPA certification, platform architect is someone who is responsible for your any point platform strategy. So he will uh, start or his work will start as soon as organization decides to create their own any point platform network. He will talk with the stakeholders. He will decide what kind of uh, deployment options to go for or what kind of uh, infrastructure to go for whether it should be into your own premises whether it should be into cloud hub he is the one who will set up the kind of uh, uh, processes in terms of uh, uh, what would be the reusable assets how your apis are gonna be gonna gonna look like what would be the uh, what would be the kind of uh, data patterns that will be used whether it will be a bounded context or is it something you need to have your own business object so in a nutshell platform architect does his work on the organization level so when i say organization it's not the company it's more the account in uh, uh, which which is currently making use of mulesoft or any point platform so he will be the one who will not be working in uh, detail as far as coding is concerned or as far as how your flow should look like or how logging should up should be there but his work be more from the high level perspective in order to set up the monitoring in order to set up the deployment strategy and he will ensure that all the applications are aligned to the uh, standard practices and guidelines uh, guidelines which are uh, set for your organization now coming to mci his work is more related to actual code so he will be the one who will be who will be designing the integration solution and he will guide the development team on what should be the uh, for example activities or palettes that should be used for achieving a particular use case or he will also be working on the low level designs in terms of creating the uh, frameworks or uh, uh, or the uh, logging frameworks for that uh, 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 for that example or he would be creating the framework for uh, retrial mechanism so his work is very close to mule or any point studio so integration architect will take care of any new requirement when it comes to dealing with the uh, external partners he will, be, he will be the one who will be creating raml specification design documents and also be responsible for providing the integration solution using mule whereas in case of platform architect he would not be providing the solution to any use case requirement his work is mostly on the platform side and I'll also provide the link of data sheets which is provided by MuleSoft for both the certifications. Uh, those data sheets contains the uh, detailed objectives of both the certification exam. But I hope I try to uh, I try to cover it on a high level, and I hope that uh, uh, you are aware about uh, what is the difference between these two certifications. So before we move ahead with what option to choose, I would like to discuss few important things with you and which is that if you have recently started working as a as a mule developer, then I would suggest you to enjoy this journey and learn the things from development perspective. Do not rush for the certification exams. 
because certification exam might certified you about your knowledge but your actual work will give you the live experience which cannot be compensated by any certification without working as a developer for sufficient time you may be able to clear your integration or platform architect certification exam but when it comes to actually working on your project requirement then you may not be able to work efficiently as you would if you give sufficient time for yourself to go through this developer journey so in case it is something must for you that uh, your experience is not that high but still your organization is demanding you to do the certification or if you want the certification to get eligible for applying for next level of job then obviously there is no way other than going for the certification and in next sections we will cover which certification you can choose uh, for depending on what is your primary aim for the certification so let's go ahead and check that so if learning is your primary aim then in that case my suggestion is to go for MCI exam first because if you look at the journey of a uh, of an integration developer or someone who started working in the integration domain so it, it is like first they work as a developer then they uh, start working as a designer or integration architect and then later they move to the uh, positions of integration or enterprise architects so that's why if you are already mcd certified then mci is the most uh, logical thing that you can do after mcd second is as i said it helps you in transitioning from developer to architect so if you already have knowledge of how uh, different mule activities work then when you are when you want to use them for designing uh, the solution for integration requirements then uh, you can take your developer knowledge to the next level in understanding things in a better way and uh, as i said the integration architect is something that comes after the developer or senior developer so if you have already spent sufficient time in working as a developer then integration architect could be your choice to uh, target for your next job and in that case uh, MCI certification can definitely help you for that and finally as I said MCPA is more close to enterprise level architect so if if your aim is learning then directly moving to MCPA would be like missing some steps in between so that is why the gist is if learning is your primary aim target MCI first now the next is if your aim is to go for certification i mean as i said if your organization demands you to complete one architect certification in this year or is it kind of a mandatory for you in that case i will suggest you to go for mcpa exam because mcpa exam is comparatively easy and if you look at the course coverage for mci and mcpa then you would realize that mcpa course coverage is is far less than as compared to MCI rather I would say that MCPA is a kind of subset of MCI in terms of the topics of course uh, the detailing of those topics is different in both the courses but again the uh, for preparation point of view it is easy to prepare for MCPA exam again if experience is more than 10 then platform architect uh, can be your target in that case MCPA can help you now if you already have experience of working on different integration tool and your aim is to uh, go for platform architect job more which is not bound to any particular technology in that case MCPA is your natural choice because it does not uh, need the knowledge of uh, knowing any point studio or rather all kind of mule connectors or loops or scopes in detail because the job expectation is more from the platform side so i hope i made both these situations clear and then you can take the call according to the, this one now now i have few suggestions if you are planning to take the exam so if you have already done uh, with your studies or your trainings and before appearing to exam you want to uh, try out your hands then I, I do have two excellent Udemy courses for you which you can go through I have put the link into the description section uh, along with the 
coupon course which can help you to get uh, amazing discounts on this Udemy courses and both of these practice tests helps you to uh, give the feel of real exams and best part about both these courses is their explanation questions you may find it here or there somewhere on the internet but if you want to go for the authentic explanations and the correct explanations you should definitely uh, go with uh, these courses and finally the first step is always hardest so if you are planning for this exam first thing is that you need to take that first step then everything is easier after that so I try to summarize everything into this video, but still if you have any doubts or questions, you can let me know in the comment section and I'll try to respond you as soon as I can. So thank you and uh, do click on the like button if you find this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Happy learning.